Welcome folks to a special video where I'm going to be doing some pack openings on Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. I'm Samurai TX and well um, I did uh, finish streaming um, not too long ago so um, thank you guys for watching uh, my stream and joining in and um, dueling me and whatnot. It was very fun and I enjoyed it. And um, we did unlock Slifer the Sky Dragon during the live stream by beating Strings. It was a level 20 and should be very easy to beat so don't hesitate. You will beat Strings rather easily with just a normal deck, to be honest with you, because he's a level 20, and then you can unlock Slifer once you beat him, so... Yeah, um, good luck with your challenge in unlocking Slifer the Sky Dragon. I'm pretty sure all of you have unlocked Slifer the Sky Dragon. But today we're going to do a pack opening, and it's going to be the selection box that's been released today, actually. So, um, let's get started. So, um, I've already opened two via livestream, but we're going to what we're going to do is um, reset the box. Yes, and it's available from um, it's available from January um, 12th, which is today as I'm recording this. So look, um, let's start by um, waste spending 200 gems. I think you get more than five cards for each pack, so let's um, go. You get a lot of um, SRs and ultra rares in this. Hello, Karibo. Right, clearly the thing's not shining, so I don't expect anything special here. But that came up, so we are going to get something special. Kaiser Jin. Alright, that's a rare. Sui Jin, we've already got that. Needlebug Nest. Send the top five cards of your deck to the graveyard. I don't think I would want to do that. Attack the Moon. Once per turn, when the battle position of a rock-type monster you control is changed, you can target one spell slash trap card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. I suppose that card's okay if you're using rock types. Magic Magician Circle. When the spellcaster type monster declares an attack, each player special summons one spellcaster type with 2,000 points or less attack from their deck to attack position. I suppose that's okay, but you're also helping your opponent. But if it's your phase, then I suppose it's extremely helpful to you. So let's see what else we got, because we get extra cards during this. So we got Secret Pass to the Treasures. Select one face-up monster with an attack equal to 1,000 points or less on your side of the field. During this turn, this card is activated. The selected monster can attack your life points directly. Nah, I suppose it's okay. Conscription. Excavate the top card from your opponent's deck. And if it's a monster that can be normal summoned slash set, special summon it to your side of the field. Otherwise, add that card to your opponent's hands. Okay, that's risky as well. Treaty on Uniform Nomenclature. If you control two or more face-up monsters with the same name, except tokens, apply this effect depending on how many you control. Exactly two. Destroy one spell slash trap card your opponent controls. Exactly three. Destroy all spell slash trap cards your opponent controls. That's pretty that's pretty good actually. Right, well, which one was that? Oh that one. Let's see what this is. Inab Inaba White Rabbit, Beast Spirit Effect. This card cannot be special summoned. This card returns to the owner's hand during each end phase of the turn that this card is normal summoned or flip phase up. This monster attacks your opponent's life points directly. I suppose that's good if you put um, equip spells to it and whatnot, and then um, during that turn you can keep them um, doing that. I suppose that's okay, but... If you're in danger, you, would, you wouldn't want to use this as a card, but... If you have a, um, if you have one card on your field that is powerful enough, it, it'll be fine because then you can keep summoning this card freely. So I suppose this card's okay if you want to do um, effect damage because I think this I think this counts as an effect damage card. So yeah, I think you should put that in your deck if you want to do effect damage. Dice food. Roll a six-sided die and apply the result. Two, three, or four. Destroy one spell slash trap card on the field. 5. Destroy 2 spell slash trap cards on the field. 1 or 6, you take a 1000 damage. Very risky. Alright, let's read this. Suijin. Spellcaster effect. During damage calculation in your opponent's turn, if this card is being attacked, you can attack. You can target the attacking monster. Make that target's attack 0 during damage calculation. Only this is a quick effect. This effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. I suppose that's okay. Suijin, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the same as um, the other one, the other two. Ready, read that. 
Already read that and already read that. Okay, that's fine. Now we're going to um, do this again and um, open another pack. So let's purchase. Hello, Karibos. The cards are shining, so I'm expecting something good from this. Kaiba's face is there saying, I'm ready, reveal my cards. Red Dragon Ninja, we've already got that. Mag mag magical Marionette. Alright, we'll read that effect a bit later. Cross Clown. That's not really rare now, is it? Security Orb. Activate only when your opponent's monster declares an attack. Change the battle position of that monster. When this face down card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard by effect of a spell or trap card your opponent controls, destroy one monster on the field. It's pretty decent, actually. Soul Release. Ooh. Target up to five cards in any graveyard and banish them. That's, that card is used rather often. It's, ra it's used very often, actually, in the anime, so... Yeah, it's rather a good card. What's this? Dark Cat with White Tail. Yay? Flip. It's a flip effect, okay. Return two monsters from your opponent's side of the field and one monster card from your side to their owner's hands. Okay, I suppose that's... I suppose this is a good card, in a way, because... Um, it has the effect of, like, Penguin Soldier, plus it has... Um, one monster card from on my side of the field. If I have no monster cards, then that doesn't really affect me, so it would be pretty good if you have this card in your deck, just in case if anybody has like lots of special summon monsters, just, just send them to their hand, you know, so that um, they'll have to try and special summon it again. I suppose that's really handy to have, um, this card. Again, I've already read that. White Magician Pikaru. Ah, oh, okay. And it's, she's very cute, actually. Very cute. During your standby phase, increase your life points by four four hundred points for each monster on your side of the field. I suppose that's I suppose you can keep this card on the field if you add um, have um, a field spell and then some equipped spells so that it survives, so that you can keep getting this effect. It's the only way you can keep it on the field because its attack point is rather weak. But um, I don't think many people will use this card. Probably will depending on what they have. As it's a light monster, you can use Hoshinigan to give it five hundred and then equip spells with it. But well, you'd also want to keep Hoshinigan alive, because Hoshinigan's rather weak, but, Hosh but Hoshinigan can be a very good card to use as well. Um, but you've got to really uh, keep these cards alive with some specific traps and some specific equip spells, unless they get destroyed then. Yeah. But um, there are. I'm pretty sure you will have your own ways to keep your cards alive. Ebon Magician Kuran. Another cute card. Spellcaster Effect. During your standby phase, inflict 300 damage to your opponents for each monster they control. Well, that's a very good card. That's actually a very good card. Megaton Magical Cannon. Remove 10 spell counters on your side of the field. Destroy all the cards your opponent's side of the field. Jesus Christ, I don't really think I can carry... I don't think I really carry 10 spell cards. Raigeki Bottle. Each type of monster you... Sorry, each type of monster you control declares an attack. Place one thunder card on this card. You can send this card with four or more thunder thunder um, counters to the graveyard. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. I suppose that's okay, but it's kind of risky to play it as well, considering um, if you don't really get the cards you want, you're playing you're playing da a dangerous game, you know. Okay, we've already read that. Cross crown effect. When this card is changed to defense position to attack position, return one monster from your opponent's side of the field to the oldest hand. I suppose that's okay. Ready, read that. That's a pretty decent card. Magical Marionette. Spellcaster. So that's that's pretty good. Considering I um, use Yami as a spellcaster um, deck, I can pretty much add this one to my deck as well. Each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card. When the spell card resolves, this card gains 200 attack for each spell counter on it. You can remove two spell counters from this card, then target one monster in the field and destroy that target. I suppose that's okay, really, than the um, perks. Already know what Dra Red Dragon Ninja does, um, but I'll read it again. When this card is summoned, you can banish one ninja or ninjutsu art card from your graveyard to select one set card from your opponent controls. Reveal that set card, then return it to either the top or bottom of your deck. Or of the deck. Your opponent cannot activate the targeted card in response to this effect's activation. You can only use this effect of Red Dragon Ninja once per turn. Okay, that's okay. And then Soul Release. That's pretty decent as well. So what we're going to do is open another pack. I suppose this will help me as well, considering that um, this is my account and I'm 
pretty much trying to get better cards. Oh, this looks pretty good. This gold as well. Kaiba's rather eager to open it. Muka Muka. This card gains 300 attack and defense for each card in your hand. Ah, oh, yeah, I used to have that card. I always used to have six cards and then I used to get this equipped spells, like um, Horn of the Unicorn. It was so overpowered, this card. Leku Lekunga, plant effect. You can banish two water monsters from your graveyard. Special summon one Lekunga token. Plant type, water plant type water level two. Attack and defense is 700 in attack position. I suppose it's okay. Ultimate Providence. When a spell... A slash trap card or monster effect is in exactivate. Discard one of the same card monsters. Negate the activation if you do destroy that card. That's pretty good. We've already got Cross Crown. We've already got that. That's rather disappointing actually. But we got other things. We got the Enchanted Javelin, which is okay. Piranha Army. The battle damage this card inflicts by attacking your opponent's life points is directly doubled. Ooh. That's one card you wouldn't mind having, especially if you um, have a water. Especially if you have a water. Um, especially if you carry a water um, based deck, you can carry this in, and then it will double. So that's pretty cool. You know, you could you could win the duel with that if you um, add equip spells and whatnot. It just doubles the damage. Pretty damn good, actually. Magical merchant, stranger, stranger. Now that's a weapon. Insect flip effect. Excavate cards from the top of your deck until you excavate a spell slash trap card. Add that to your hand. Also, send the remaining cards to the graveyard. Ooh, that's risky. Okay, we ready? Read that. Skyster Ray? Skyster Ray. Sea Serpent Effect. This card can attack your opponent directly. At the end of the battle phase, if this card is attacked directly, banish this card until your next standby phase. Uh, I suppose that I, I think that other this one's better anyway. Piranha Army is so much better. Already read what this can do, but you can tribute this card. Add one field card from your deck to your hand. That's okay. Turnabout. If there's a face-up monster on the field whose current level is different from its original level, change all monsters on the field to face-down defense position. That would be pretty helpful, if, especially if you want to destroy it the next turn and whatnot. Already know what that does. Already read that. Already read that. Uh, well, we've already read these as well, so let's back out. Those were pretty decent cards, but um, let's do two more pack openings before I end the video. Right. Hello, Karibo. Oh, this looks pretty good. It's flashing and it's got the ultra rare color and whatnot. Alright, give me something good, people. What's. What? 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 Sick Chick Fighter? Psychic effect. When this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard, place it in either the top or bottom of their deck. You can you can use this effect of what's what fourth What's what what psychic fighter? Sorry, I have a weird pronunciation of these um, cards. What psychic fighter? Once per turn. Desert sunlight. All monsters on your side of the field are face up defense position. Sinister Serpent. Oh yeah, a lot of people use it. A lot of people do use this card. During your standby phase, if this card in your, is in your graveyard, you can add it to your hand. Banish one Sinister Serpent from your graveyard during your opponent's turn. Next end phase, and you can use this effect on Sinister, Sinister Serpent once per turn. Already got that. Ooh, ultra rare. This must be very good. Send you of the thousand hands. When this card is normal or flip summoned, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. Ooh, that's very good actually. Right, what else did we get? Scanner. Once per turn, you can select one of your opponent's monsters that is removed from play. Until the end phase, this card's name is treated as a selected monster's name. And this card has the same attributes, level, attack and defense monsters as a selected monster. If this card is removed from the field while this effect is applied, remove it from play. We already know what that does. We already know what that does. Chaos Zone! Oh god, we got a lot of reading to do. Each time a monster is banished, place one Chaos Counter on this card for each of those monsters. Once per turn, you can remove four or more Chaos Counters from your side of the field. To target one banished monster from us with a level equal to the number of Chaos Counters removed. Special summon that target. When this card on the field is sent to the graveyard, 
By your opponent's card effect, you can add one light or dark monster from your deck to your hand, whose level is less or equal to the number of chaos camps that were on this card. I suppose that's an okay card. For me, it sounds okay. Aegis of Gaia. Gain 3,000 life points. If this card is face up and removed from the field, take 3,000 damage. Oh, shh, that's very risky. But you would want your life points, don't you? Exchange Knight and... Okay. I guess I guess um, I guess we already know what this does. But I'll read it anyway. You can use you can only use one exchange of night and day effect per turn, and only once that turn you can activate these effects. Send one light warrior type monster from your hand to the graveyard, then add one dark warrior type monster from your deck to your hand. With the same level, with the same level, the said monster had in your hand. Send one Dark Warrior type monster from your hand to the graveyard, then add one Light Warrior type from your deck to your hand. The same level the monster had in your hand. I suppose it's okay if you have um, Light and Dark Warriors monsters uh, picked up, but it's very risky, judging by the sounds of it. Nin Ninjutsu Art of Duplication Tribute one Ninja Monster. Special summon any number of Ninja Monsters from your deck in face up attack position. Position or face down defense position with combined levels of less than equal of the attributed monster. When this card leaves the field, destroy those monsters. I suppose that's okay. Yeah, I've already read that. Okay, I've already read that. Already read that. Already read that. And already read that. Alright, let's do one more pack opening. I think some of these cards have been very good to me, but um, let's go and open another one. Oh, let's see. Shiny! Kaiba saying, hurry up, open the dirt, open the pack. Ready, go it, ready, go it. Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu. Beast Warrior Flip Effect. Add one Equip Search Spell card from your deck to your hand. It's a flip effect, so I suppose that would be helpful. Ready, got that. Oh, Sergeant, Sergeant Electro. Once per turn, you can target one face down card. In your opponent's spell slash trap card zone. While this card is face up on the field, its targets cannot be activated. That's okay. Alright, we've already got those. That's okay, I guess. Secret pass to the treasure. Select one face up monster with an attack equal to 1000 points or less on your side of the field. During this turn, card is activated. The selected monster can attack your opponent's life points directly. We already know what that does, because we already got it. We already know what that does, because we already got it. Pot of Benevolence. Select two cards from your... Select two cards from the graveyard and shove them into their owner's deck. After activation, remove this card from play. Instead of sending it to the graveyard, you can only activate on Pot of Benevolence for a turn. I don't think I'll be using that. We already know what this does. Bokoichi of Frightening Car. Let's just say Bokoichi the Frightening Car. Oh. The Fright card that is exclusively for Dekoichi. It, it can transport anything, most, but most cargoes arrive broken. Pretty bad card. Ready to know what that does? We ready to know what that does? We ready got that? Ready read that? Oh, we ready read that. I think I got okay um, cards from the um, pack opening. And um, in the next video, I suppose I'll be opening... Um, let me see. I'll be opening Primal Burst because I haven't opened those yet. So, um, thank you guys for um, tuning into the um, Dual Links pack opening. I'll be definitely doing more, and which will be the next video, which is Primal Burst, or probably the Ishizu Unlockable Challenge. Either way, I'm going to still do another Unlockable um, um, pack, pack, pack opening. Sorry. This is Samurai TX signing out. Thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys in the next video of Dual Links. Take care, everybody.